Another important detail you should be aware of is that a part can only have adaptive references in one assembly. Here I have a second assembly with another version of the level. The only difference between this level and the previous one are these two additional holes. I'll tie all my windows so I can drag the top cover from my original assembly to this new assembly. I'll close the original assembly so we can focus on this. And I'll add a few constraints to position the cover. Now that the top cover is in place on this new assembly, I'll edit the part to create the two additional holes. I'll switch the visual style to shaded with hidden edges. And then, I'll change the view so I can see the cover and the holes. I'll create a sketch on the top face of the cover and click Project Geometry. The holes highlight when I pause the cursor over them, and they project when I click on them. At first, it looks like they were projected adaptively, but the sketch isn't marked adaptive, and there isn't any reference geometry. I'll right-click and select Show All Constraints. You can see the entities for the projected holes are locked. I'll delete the lock constraints on one of the holes. Now, I can drag the center point of the circle around and change the size of the circle. Even though I projected the holes from the other part, there isn't an adaptive relationship. So, is there a way to avoid this limitation? What if I broke the adaptive references to the original assembly? Would I then be allowed to create adaptive references here in this new assembly? Let's give that a try. I'll right-click on the geometry reference under the other sketches and select Break Link. I'll try to project the hole into the sketch again. But it still isn't adaptive. Next, I'll try to turn off adaptivity for the features, but it is grayed out. If I return to the assembly and right-click on the part, adaptive is grayed out on that context menu too. There are some ways to break the adaptive links between a part and an assembly which we'll discuss in the next lesson.